Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill John from Mr. Excel. Mike Gervin from Excel is fun is standing right here next to me, live from Highline Community College in Seattle. Oh, wow, today's question sent in by Edmund or LoveBite38 at YouTube. Uh, we have a lookup value here. We have to go over to the adjacent row, find the lookup value, and then grab the number that is 1 to the right and the number that is 2 to the right. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start to build this using the match equal match. Go find this value. I'm going to press F4 one, two, three times. There we go. And go look for it over here. And comma zero, right? And that's going to tell me that uh, link is in uh, the fourth column. If I put in 12D, then it's in the third column. All right, so that's good. That's working great. What I want to do is then take the index, the index of that whole range over there. Uh, so, way and we want to press F4 one two times to no three times three times to freeze the columns but not the rows comma and then which row well that's row number one because there's only one row and then the column that we want plus one to get the column just to the right of it and good that's working take that whole big long thing control C over here control V at this time we want plus two Oh, two equal signs at the beginning. Let's get rid of one of those. And 19. Let's do a little test. Uh, we'll change that to be uh, uh, WW, and we should get 12D and link. Beautiful. All right. Mike, what have you got? Thanks, Mr. Excel. I'm going to come down here. Same little data set. I'll highlight everything, do all the formulas at once. Uh, the active cell right there, I'll hit uh, equal sign, and I'm going to use the same index. And I'm going to take this array right here. And we will hit F4 three times because when we lock it over here, it needs to be locked there. But when we go down, boom, it needs to move to the next row. Comma, and then I'm going to use the same match of this. We're looking up link one, two, three times with the F4. Get the same range right here. I'm just going to copy it, Control C, and paste. Comma, zero we're looking up an exact uh, look up here for match and now as a mr. Excel showed when we got the link uh, it gave us a four but I really need to add one and when I copy it over one again I needed to add two so I'm gonna do plus columns columns uh, is a great if I can get the function right here is a great number incrementer inside of a formula. So I'm sitting in B9, so I'm going to say dollar sign B9 colon B9, close parentheses. Right now it's saying columns B to B. How many is that? One. This is locked, this is not, so when it goes zoop, over one, it'll say B to C, which is two. Got to get rid of that equal sign there. Now, what in the world am I doing here? This is a column number, uh, and I'm putting in the row number. Well, match, if there is only a, a columns here, it will interpret row as columns, so that'll work just fine. I'm going to control enter. Notice the active cell has the uh, formula. When I control enter, it'll populate all the cells. Let's try a little test here. How about WW? WW, and it looks like boom, boom, and down here it looks like it's working also. 22. All right, hand it back to Mr. Excel. All right, there you have it. Hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.